let's talk about your final project drafts. Um, overall, I liked what I saw. Uh, there's a couple of things that I think apply to a few guys that we'll go over. Um, but again, I like what I see so far. Okay. So I know I talked to Ahmed uh, earlier uh, while we were in class last, but I kind of expected to have a little bit more than just what I saw the other day. But um, we talked about how graphically this is a really strong intro page. Um, and we potentially talked about having, um, you know, the four band images either in these four areas and then maybe getting rid of one of these blocks and having like text start, have your headline in here or something like that. And then you basically just have your one picture here, uh, but haven't yet formatted text. Um, um, I wouldn't mind seeing some of this, um, maybe not this exact shape, but some of these graphics carried through the article, maybe even like a blue line down at the bottom here. And then like you could have um, like one of the, like a brown one go like almost, you know, not quite all the way across just to break up your page or even in the middle or, you know, do like thirds, something like that to have some of these graphics incorporated, maybe the shape incorporated once in a while, like for like a pull quote in the middle or something like that uh, might be kind of, kind of interesting, but, um, you know, carrying this colored theme or this, um, you know, some of these shapes through each page as they flow with your, uh, your image and text. All right, moving on here again, a really strong start. Um, I like the headline that you came up with. It works, um, works with the article. Um, it's not too image heavy, which I also like. The images work well together. Um, you can see that your text flows pretty well um, from page to page. I may play around with, it might be a little awkward here, but I might play around with like something like this page have this text go across like both columns and break the column structure there a little bit and then have it carry back to one. You might have to see if it works or not. Um, I might push um, your text wrap works well. Um, I might push your text wrap out a little bit so that it, um, I'm sorry, to move that. Um, so you have a little bit more space in between um, your text and your image um, just to give it a little more breathing room so it's not like right on top of your, of your images. Um, and again, I might even play around with, you know, if you had text go, you know, wrap around, go across two columns here, and then you could even have like, you know, this image be a little bit higher. You know, if you pull this image, you know, up to here, even, I don't know if you have the room for it, but you know what I mean? If you had an image fill basically this space and then you had your text wrap kind of around, you know, around that image, that might be kind of cool. Um, and again, just working with your text, your text flow between these two pages, um, and then how you're gonna how you're gonna finish it off with, with text, um, your text or anything. But but overall, your more finished pages look really good. Um, you know, I like this sort of like step down. I might even bring this down a little bit more or try it. You know, again, it's sort of the same the same corner or see if it needs the eagle image at all. To be honest. Um, you know, again, if you broke this across two columns, broke this across two columns, you might be able to get away with, um, uh, get away with not having that that there uh, unless you really want it. But I think it's, I don't think it's too cluttered. I think it works pretty well. But even if you brought it down a little bit more, you know, just to sort of, you know, break up so it's not so close to this one. But, you know, play, play around with placement. Um, the other thing I'll say, um, that I think applies to just about everybody is when we're linking our text, make sure that we're actually linking the text and not copying and pasting from our document, right? So I see you have the images here, but I don't see the copy. So you place the Word file just like you would um, place any um, image file into a frame. So when you make your frames, you can just place it and then you can either link it, it'll load and show you that you have more, and you can link it to your. Um, uh, to your text frames, or you can just place it in one frame and then, you know, go from one to the next. Um, as you can see, it looks like your threads, uh, just to double check. Extras, show the text threads. Yeah, so none of these are threaded, which is also an issue. Um, so basically, if, if you have threaded text, uh, what ends up happening is if you move this, it'll adjust this accordingly. So it'll fit the text that you have. Um, within your frames and it will thread it all through each frame. So even if you remove this 
and make this text frame way shorter, it would adjust um, it would adjust the spacing on these so you would know you have your full article. So that way you're also not if you're copying and pasting into each each frame, then you run into the risk of like dropping a block of text or something like that. The other reason we would have linked images or linked uh, text documents is uh, like if I'm the writer and I'm working on it and I make changes, that way the changes are always reflected in your document uh, so that way you don't have to worry about relinking and using the most current file or that it'll, it'll automatically any changes will reflect in your document. Okay, going to tabbies. Uh, I'm missing this font, so it's not that big a deal, but uh, I'll, I'll check to look at it in class. Um, but again, I think this is a really strong start. I like the idea of having, um, you know, these two images here and having your first page text be a little bit larger than the rest of the body copy. Um, if you're going to have a color, uh, just make sure, like with the these, uh, if I can grab it without grabbing other stuff. Oops. Uh, is it locked? Maybe. Maybe not. Nope. Um, unless you did that uh, uh, without using a fill somehow. Um, but just make sure that it goes to the bleed. Um, same thing with this frame, uh, or rather with the edge of, um, if I can, I can't grab it here, um, with the edge of this black. So make sure that this black goes at the top extends to your bleed and extends to the left and extends to the bottom. You don't want to extend it all the way across because you don't want it to be in your in your gutter and your margin. Um, but you want to make sure that this background color extends beyond um, to the bleed. Um, but overall, I think it works. I think that the color choices work really well with the imagery that you chose and with the logos and things like that. Um, I think it works well with their theme. Again, I like, you know, having the, the first page be a little bit larger. Um, and then I think again here, yeah, you don't have threaded text, it seems. So I would make sure you again thread that text and also make sure that you're linking the article rather than, yeah, I'll thread it as well. Um, make sure that you're linking the copy. And I'm not sure that this is all of the copy from the article. Um, and this is where the linking, make sure you're linking that text will, will really ensure that you have all of the copy. Um, so again, yeah, you can thread your text from here to here. The only thing I would say is um, I like the effect here that you have with the larger text and going across two columns. I would say maybe here have it separate into two different columns, you know, and then again, you have it kind of going across three. It makes it a little bit hard to read for an article. Um, you know, again, I might have this be, you know, you could even have it be two columns, um, you know, go across two columns and have one or even have it go across all three and then have, you know, arrange it a, a little bit differently there. Um, I like ending it with a larger quote like that works really well. Um, again, just make sure that you're not, you know, if your article ends here, then you can have that um, be like a pull quote kind of. Um, and I like I like this graphic, uh, the element here that you have, I think it works really well. Um, and again, just make sure that your blacks extend um, as far as you need them to extend. Um, yeah, I like your little bit of differentiation with the graphics, how it is only on one side and then it's on both sides and then here it's on both sides but you've also created sort of a um, a darker um, frame uh, on your last page I think it looks really well. Nice. All right. um, I think this again headline works really well. Um, sort of like starts the article works very well. Uh, with this graphic element, um, you know, the shape of the frame works well there and extends to the bleed. So it'll trim basically in here. Um, so you'll get a little bit of this round, this round corner. I think that'll work really well. Um, and I think your choice of images and placement works well so far. Um, you know, again, with these, I, you know, I kind of like the idea of how you have three columns here and then. So it's not too bad for this because it's very, uh, I shouldn't say image heavy, but the deposit nice space works well to have, have this be six separate columns. Um, and then again, you might even be able to play around with having this go across two columns and then continue here. It might look a little awkward. And then it depends on what you do with this one. You might be able to do the opposite. Uh, it just depends what you do with the rest of the text there. Um, but I think overall, just playing with you know your column structure and breaking column structure, even if you had this 
Actually, it's a little tricky here, but even if you had this text go across these two columns, so you had two columns, two columns, and two columns, we can work on that if that's something you would like to do. Um, and then again, just make sure, let's give a check. Yeah, let's make sure that we're threading our text again so that when you're uh, adjusting your columns or deciding to, to combine columns or separate columns, that that'll, um, that that'll reflect in your, uh, in your text and make sure that you're also linking the text and placing the article rather than copying and pasting the article. I think overall, really, really strong start. Oh. Again, um, I think it's a good start. Um, I like sort of thematically how you have the logo in some form generally top. Uh, I also top right, top left. And then even still technically sort of top left. Um, I would say for this, um, just to get maybe a little bit more dynamic with your text. Um, and maybe with your images, it's a little bit static because you kind of have everything centered and pretty even. I think it works well, like this page works really well because there's a nice balance between the text columns and the images. Um, and even this page works pretty well. Um, I might play around again uh, with, with column structure and even having, again, maybe like two columns, two columns, two columns, if that works, or even like two columns, one column, one column, two columns. Um, and then I think this works fine having to be three separate columns. And again, you have this sort of like continual, you know, one image larger and set, and I think it works really well. Um, you know, I think maybe breaking out this page a little bit more, um, you know, if you were to play with your column structure, with your images maybe in, in this one, um, you know, if you brought down this image a little bit more, um, down here and have like, I don't know, you know, I don't, you don't think you want to go across three columns, but if you had this go like, you know, two columns, then one column and then down, um, you know, I might, I might make this one a little bit more dynamic because you have a lot going on with, um, with your image structure and your text structure. And I think it works really well We you have happening with these couple pages. Um, and again, make sure that we're linking the article as well, so we're not dropping any text or anything. Um, and I think the country was tour doesn't need to be. Yeah. But again, make sure that you're linking the article rather than um, copying and pasting the pages. And then I believe I double check it. Thank you. You have to raise. Show your extra notes. Somebody did. Um, anyway, um, so you make sure you're threading your text as well. So like when you adjust, oh, there you go. I to select them, I guess. They do have text threads. Yeah, so now you can see. So I can show all of you guys if you adjust this. It should. Why is it? There we go. I see how we shorten that. So now it moves the text accordingly. And then we shorten this one. I'm sure in this one you can see how it's moving the text dynamically as we're, as we're playing around with our with our column lengths and things like that. So this is one of the reasons why you have uh, threaded text um, rather than just copy and pasting into each individual um, individual uh, text frame. Holy cow! I don't know why blank on that. Uh, I believe that's everybody so far that submitted. Uh, again, I think it's you know really solid work, great starts, uh, and then. Uh, for the next few classes, we'll be continuing to work on these and I'll be available to help and uh, give you some more feedback if you need it. Thanks, guys.